hey guys is robin here today we are going to talk about hide my wp ghost it's by squarely seo um, you probably know their name they made a very good seo plugin for wordpress what does actually hide my wp ghost do it hides all the sensitive information like where the folders are in wordpress and how to access the wp or admin area then it also prevent brute force attack cross-site scripting, XML RPC production. On top of that, it keeps a record of user's activity, means sometimes when you want to check how many times a person wanted to try to log in some random password. In addition to that, it uses limit login attempts. It works fine with Apache, Nginx, and IIS. And most importantly, it also works with Lightspin. In fact, it works better with Lightspin. Now we are going to take a look into it on one of my live site. On my live site, you can already see I have CD, CDN and image optimizer and light speed cache is activated. I'm going to activate the hide my WP ghost. Upon the activation, it will give you a score how secure is your website. So right at the moment, it's very weak. I'm going to go in the main interface and start working from there. The best method is to start here and try the safe mode because the ghost mode can be too advanced and it might break some part of the website. I would recommend go with safe mode and grow up from there. As you can see, once I click safe mode, it tells me what will be the new of these well-known paths. And also note that this is handled by .htaccess file. Your our physical paths are not changed on your server. Let's continue. Here, I have an option to actually simulate a different CMS than WordPress. Here I am going to select Drupal 8 and press save. Now it's important that this new login page is working. Before everything else, we should test this and see how it comes out. You can see here the new login page, there is not the typical WordPress login page like WP admin or wp-login.php. You already have redefined the login entrance. Once that is done, I'm going to click yes, it's working. And I'm going to start from here. You can define the WP admin and also have the option to hide WP admin. For the login security, you can hide wp-login.php or login path. You can even set what will be the lost password URL and register URL. For your sign in, you can use this and you can change it to however you like it to be. I haven't touched this part, but I know this can be changed. Then you can hide the default authority. A lot of times, actually, this one creates a security leak inside many websites. Now you can change it to a different URL altogether. I would recommend you keep the, these values because this one will match with Drupal libraries. What additional things I have ticked is this one and this one. These are pretty common for any site security. You can use them. Now you can define where will be all the plugins. Here I can hide the plugin names and hide all the plugin names. I can also hide the WP content plugins path, which I would do and press save. I will also disable the WordPress whole themes path. Basically, this is the folder WP content slash themes. This will be changed into something else and the CSS file will be renamed into this. This is the wp-json file link. Whenever you make changes in this section, especially I like to disable REST API and XML RPC because most of the time your website will not be using them. Whenever you make these changes, make sure you save and also go to your permalink settings and press save changes in these settings at least once. This is an important part of the plugin, which is the security headers. I have noticed a lot of website is missing the 
the security headers but you need to use this very carefully because if you have external domains that is connected to your WordPress site for example you are using a plugin that is hosted outside of your domain it might get broken I would recommend to test this multiple times before you actually use it here I'm going to additionally block this all the theme detector websites will not be able to detect if it is WordPress or which theme it is using I'm going to press save now in the other options you can actually rename your category path and text path we are going to head into tweaks at this moment I'm not going to configure the front page but I am going to hide the feed and sitemap link tags and also update all these the recommended settings are already here hide version from images CSS and JS hide WordPress DNS prefetch meta tags and hide HTML comments some comments sometimes comes out from the plugin if you do not use these two features you can disable them as well actually they have a lot of options in the disable options part you can disable individually right click you can disable inspect element you can disable view source disable copy and paste and drag and drop images that's a lot of protection for your content in the mapping section you can actually remap your classes IDs and JS variables for example I can rename WP post into post but be careful because sometimes plugins like WooCommerce and Elementor they might be using the original classes and it might fail please test this before you actually deploy this you can also remap internal URLs for example think of it like a redirection that if somebody comes to views they will be redirected my assets now this is the very important part since I'm using easy IO with EWWW image optimizer I need to put the CDN URL here the system knows that they should not rewrite certain things on the CDN I'm going to go ahead and put the my CDN URL over here this is my CDN URL I will save this I'm not going to touch the experimental features this is a very heavy load option this option about 99% of the time do not use this because it will slow down your website now I'm activating the brute force protection the basic brute force is a math recapture and you can set the parameters that maximum fail attempts how many times and band duration for how many seconds you can customize the lockout message whitelist IP or ban IP this also goes for Google recapture v2 and v3 for this you will need a Google developer console and generate the site keys and secret keys for this I will activate the event slot Generally, you have to select nothing over here. Everything will be lo logged. In the backup restore, you can actually transfer all the settings that you have done on this website into any of your other websites. The other important thing is in advanced settings. Here, I choose late loading. What will happen after all my other plugins are load loading finished? Then hide my WP will load I will also clear all the hooks on the login page these are the two options I will pick now we are going to test if the website is rendering I have realized at the very first time when you were rendering the CDN need to remap the URLs according to the new WordPress path what I mean by that is these images will be served from CDN and 
the CDN URL follow the modified directories we have created in hide my WP. If you notice this image carefully, the URL, you can see previously it was served from WP content and now it is using a different storage path. Now I am going to check some other JavaScript functionalities. The bot on this website working? Yes, this panel is also working. I am going to open this in a private window to see how it works out. So this is the website open in a private window. The login URL has been changed. And do not forget to clear your cache because otherwise the data will not update. It will still have some cache files. This might be different for you if you use WP Rocket or WP Fastest Cache or similar items. Just clear up your cache, purge your, all your cache and see how is your score looks like. Previously the arrow was over here and now is in the green. Basically this is mo most of the things you have you need to do on your website. Some extreme cases you might redirect. Do some experiment with the header security because it's important. This is very lightweight and easy to use. This I have set up less than 10 minutes time. Yes, I mean they made Squarely SEO which is tremendously good at what it does. I would trust the team who have done well-made product and yes, let me know if you have any thoughts. Hide my WP Ghost also comes with a online panel but check your licenses, check your connected sites and also check security monitor and event log. This is separated from your WordPress installation. This can be enhanced. I think there are a few things that I need to talk about are two-factor authentication. I think that will be a great addition into the system. And this security monitor can evolve into a website monitor together with security. Currently, they have a deal in AppSumo. You can check it out. For single package lifetime, they already included 10 websites for double 118 and unlimited with white label enable is for 177. This is a lifetime price. If you compare this with your website price, it will differ a lot, even for one year. This is the yearly pricing. As you can see, you need to pay $640 for unlimited websites and $299 or 10 websites and that's just for one year i honestly think those who are using wordpress they should not miss this deal all right 